So one of the most common questions we've been receiving at Gradwine over the last couple of months is whether the GRE is going to be required by a lot of universities in the US. Well, I think we are sort of getting a definitive answer at this point in time. And I have a feeling that a lot of you will like this answer. So stay tuned. So look, for fall 2025, it's still early days. The applications are not yet open. They'll likely open only in the middle of August. And that's when the specific requirements will be apparent. However, a lot of our students have been receiving promotional emails and communication from universities with the indication about the GRE. It seems like several universities are maintaining status quo with respect to the GRE requirement. What I mean by that is that they're continuing the previous requirements. Therefore, you're going to have a lot of options where the GRE is either optional or not required whatsoever. In fact, it seems like a lot of universities in California, especially the UC system, will be continuing with their GRE not required status. This will make everybody, even without a GRE score, have no disadvantage over somebody who is submitting a score. Therefore, if you're somebody who has a little bit of GRE phobia, you're going to find universities where it is optional or not required. Hey everyone, if you're tired, of seeing my face through a computer screen or on your phone and want to meet me in person, we're making that happen. On Sunday, 4th of August, anywhere from 1 to 4 p.m., come by the Gradvine office in Hyderabad. We'd love to host you, give you some samosas and also talk about all your master's applications journey, right? Come see me, speaker, and the rest of the Gradvine team. Come talk to us in person. Um, again, Sunday, 1 to 4 p.m. in the Gradvine Hyderabad office. For all of those guys that are not in Hyderabad, we promise to come to your city as well or to your universities. So tag us, call us, invite us. We'd love to come and solve all of your queries. Thank you. See you. Now, of course, like with any piece of information given by Gradvine or any YouTube video that we produce, there is a bit of nuance. You'll have to understand what GRE optional means, what GRE not required means. And of course, what GRE required means is very obvious. In recent years, since the pandemic, we've seen that universities that have GRE optional have been preferring students with a GRE score as opposed to somebody not submitting a GRE. Therefore, if the university states that the GRE is optional or you can choose to submit a GRE score if you believe it enhances your application, then most likely somebody with a GRE score has an advantage. So if you club the colleges which have GRE as optional, where having a score is advantageous, and the universities where the GRE is required for you to be eligible, that is a significant chunk of universities. So it might be in your best interest to give a GRE at least a single attempt so that you have a wider pool of colleges that are available to you. Here is another important piece of information which also has a little bit of masala which I know a lot of you guys would enjoy. The average GRE score among candidates has been coming down. The only reason being the widespread cheating that has been happening with the at-home GRE has come down. Therefore, the days of every other candidate having a 320 and a 325 and a 330 has ended. Therefore, the average or median GRE scores among the competing applicant pool this year is going to be lower. This was always the case pre-pandemic and therefore, even if you have a 310 to a 315, you will have a good shot at some really good universities, provided your GPA and the rest of your profile is strong. Just this year at Gradvine, we've seen people with scores of 310 and 312 and 314 make it to the finest CS and MEM programs in the world, including the likes of a Cornell, Purdue, Johns Hopkins, Virginia Tech, Georgia Tech and the likes. Hence, give the GRE at least one attempt and even if you don't have a sky-high score, it should stand you in good stead. Irrespective, even if you don't want to give the GRE, or you have exam phobia or you're not able to cross a 300 or a 305, you can still apply test optional to a lot of universities and you will stand a good shot. This might well be the last year and your last chance to do so without a GRE. So think about it wisely. So I hope you found this video useful and if you are looking to interact with me one-on-one, -on -one, I am available on our WhatsApp community answering questions every day pretty much. You can join the communities which have separate groups for a computer science, an MEM, an MBA, you name it, we have a group. You can use the links in the description to join. Apart from that, please do like, share and subscribe to our channel so that you'll be notified of future videos which will be the biggest asset for you in your application process and also your friends can gain access to the valuable content as well.